In this series, I'm going to take you through my build of a precision tactical rifle. Now, I'm not a long-range precision shooter, uh, nor am I a gunsmith, so I don't present this as any kind of expert advice. Uh, rather, it will be a series of short videos, so if you are like me and you're interested in long-range precision shooting, you can see how it might go for you and perhaps learn from my successes and failures. The first step is to select an action and a barrel. Now, looking at the prices of custom action and barrels or, or even uh, separately bought factory action and barrels, it very quickly became clear that I was going to be better off buying a whole rifle to use as a core. This would also allow me to pay a little bit at a time and uh, get some use out of it in the meantime. Now, my familiarity and preference is with Remington 700s rather than the excellent offerings from Tico or Savage, so I was looking at Remington 700 SPS or 700P series. After looking for a while, I settled on a Remington 700 SPS AAC SD. This rifle was designed with input from Advanced Armament Corporation, who is known primarily for their suppressors. The noted features are a heavy barrel profile, a threaded barrel, and a 1 in 10 twist rate, all of which are features that lend themselves to this type of build. This is a fairly unique combination at this price point. A 700 AAC SD can be had for a street price in the $700 range, which makes this an attractive core compared to other uh, SPS or police rifles. The barrel is 20 inches and is basically a Remington varmint profile. The shorter length lends to the stiffness while also keeping the overall length down if a suppressor is used. The rifling is traditional with a 1 in 10 twist to better stabilize heavy projectiles and is threaded with the standard 5 8 24 threads to accept most 308 muzzle devices. This particular rifle has a smoother than normal action and a trigger tune similar to that seen on more expensive police models. It's about as good as an Xmark Pro trigger gets. Where perhaps they save some money is in the stock. The Hogue overmolded stock is quite comfortable in hand, but is not really designed for precision work and is much too flexible on the forend. This flexibility could lead to the stock contacting the barrel under recoil when it's on a bipod. This would negate the free float and may open up groups. Since I'm planning on replacing the stock anyway, this seems like a good place to save some money. There's some rumors that Remington is discontinuing the AAC branding, but as I record this, this rifle is still available as model number 84203. For the budget-minded or beginner, this should serve as a great platform for a precision tactical style rifle.